Uh, it's a 37 Chevy pickup. Uh, it's been built since about 2006 is when I put it together. and It's, uh, it's built as a driver. It's not a show truck. It's just a, it's just a nice driver and drives down the road really nice. And uh, it's been uh, spent to Louisville, Kentucky three times. We've been to North Carolina. It goes to Pennsylvania at least once a year. It's it's just a lot of fun to have around. It's a 1944 Ford uh, GPW, and uh, it took me a lot of years to do this. Rebuilt it from scratch. This particular Jeep was in Europe. Uh, it was built in June of '44. And it ended up in Europe, it was rebuilt in England in the 50s. And I found it in a junkyard here in Pulteney in 1990. And uh, I worked on it from 2000 to 2017. This is a 71 Nova Super Sport with a 350 in it, 350 automatic. Uh, it's, uh, we've had this one around, around 14 years. Both vehicles have been painted by a friend of ours, Jimmy Ackley, that my, myself and my boy had done the bodywork to. And this is what they come out to be. This is a 1955 Ford F100 with a Chevy 350 with a 700 R4 transmission with an overdrive. It took me 12 years to build. We started off with a cab and this is what we ended up with. It's a 1978 Kawasaki. I purchased it in uh, like around 1989, I believe. Uh, wrecked. I had a donor bike. I, we pieced it back together. Uh, we had a friend of mine, John O'Rourke. He, uh, he has several Kawasaki's in his garage. He helped me out uh, to get to this show. Um, got it done just last week. And I uh, had to take some test runs to uh, make sure everything was okay and it, it went good. So all that's brought me here today. It's a 1970 Nova. It's got a 383 stroker, 450 horse. Uh, it's got uh, Cheyenne paint on it, red, very shiny. Got an orange tint to it. You're looking at it in the sun. A little bit different than it is in the shade and stuff. Yeah, this is a 1972 Ford Maverick with a 206 cylinder. Uh, it's a straight six. I like the straight six because there's like so many things you can do to them. Uh, I put a cam in it. I put headers on it. When it starts up and it's running, most people think I got this great big V8 in it. And it's a lot of fun because I picked up the hood and they look and they go, I never heard a six owner that sounded like this before. And, what do you uh, think about that crackle tuning mess? Uh, I don't really care for I'm old school. I'm old school all the way. And uh, I don't care for the crackle tunes. I like the old rumble of the 70s cars. Tell me about the rave show. The rave show. Well, the, the club was originally formed in 1978 in West Rutland in Eddie Fabian's garage and in 1980 they decided to form a nonprofit and started putting on car shows to raise money for local charities and here we are 42 shows later doing the same thing that all of those folks dreamed of doing. How many summers did uh, Rave miss because of the COVID? One. One. When was that? Was that last year or the year 2020. before? 2020. 2020. Yeah, this should be our 43rd, but it's our 42nd. All right. <laughs> what are you looking forward to? Uh, we just we just look forward to this every year. The people, the people, the beautiful cars, and just seeing everybody out and happy and. And all of the while we're enjoying our hobby, we're raising money to help out people who are less fortunate by donating to area charities. I bought it from the original owner. Uh, he bought it when he was 16. It was white, and about halfway through his ownership, he decided to rip it all apart and redo it and customize all the chrome on it and repainted it red. And he was pretty fussy on who got the car because I owned four other ones already. Um, we pretty much hit it right off. and. Got a good deal, here it sits next to the other ones. 
part of the collection. So it's all good. <laughs>